join me today on the air and colder canal at Pollington. It's a fantastic stretch of canal with loads and loads of silverfish. I've come here today to show you how to get the best out of your local big canal system. It's not like some of the smaller, narrow canals you may find around the country. This is a big canal that's going to be deep, but it's full of fish. Let's see what we can catch. Right, the target species today are roach, perch, skimmers and hybrids. And on a big natural venue like this, I don't. I like to try and steer clear of fish meal ground baits. So with that in mind, I've gone today for some super crushed river, which is quite a heavy, sticky mix. Uh, it's got a lot of bread in it, really plenty of feed in that mix to use for this type of deep venue. But because I want to try and have a chance of catching a few skimmers and that, I also put a bit of super crumb bream in. But the predominant of the mix is the super crumb river. You'll also notice that I've got a cheeky mole here which I did actually bring some, but when I've got some on the bank, I'm gonna use that anyway, because that's even better. The canal is right there. This is the soil right off the bank, so you can't get any better than that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bag of Super Crumb River, right? Get that in there. I'm gonna take about a third of a bag of Super Crumb Bream. And I'll just, I've got some water here. When we drill, give it a quick blitz. So what I've done is I've put plenty of water in there because I want all the bready particles to and hempy type particles to soak up the water and you can see I've got a relatively dark quite bready mix. What I'm going to do to that mix, I'm going to leave that now to soak in some water and once that's soaked in some water and got right in the mix, I'm going to add some soil to it. So I've got another mix here which I've let soak up some water. So I'm just going to get this soil, take it straight off the bank. There we go. Get it through the riddle, get rid of all the stones, get rid of all the grass and everything else that's on there. We don't want to throw that in, I just want the soil really. Okay. Give that a nice blitz around and there we go, we've got the soil. Now, what I'd do is once I'd add the soil, I'd add the soil to my mix here. I already had some mix in here that I mixed up a bit earlier, taking on some water. But what I'd do is I'd put the two together. So I'll do that now to show you the finished mix. You do it with the drill, it is really quick and easy. That's the finished mix, a dark mix, really food rich, but it's got the soil. So when it goes in the water in a nice squeezed ball, it's gonna go in straight down to the bottom, carry all the particles of feed that I want, and that's going to keep the fish on the bottom because that's where I want to catch them. It's so deep, any loose feed or bits breaking off is going to drag fish up in the water. So that nice heavy mix is going to take them straight down to the bottom and catch them. All right, let's go and prepare some other baits, see what we can do, get fishing. I've got a lovely mixture of baits on my side tray here. I've got some hemp, which I wouldn't go on the Yorkshire canals without. I've got some casters, I've got some red maggots, I've got some pinkies, and I've got a few dendrobinas. That's my staple baits for any sort of big canals like this because the species that I described they all eat all of these baits so a combination of these baits and then trying different baits on the hook today to find which is the best bait is how I'm going to feed so what I've done you've seen me mix the ground bait up all I do is quite straightforward I take some worms pop them in my about half a cup of worms here chop worm scissors chop them nice and fine They're nice and fine there, small little caster sized pieces. Then I get some hemp and I fill the rest of the pot with hemp. Okay, I've got some more hemp, but there we go. The rest of the pot of hemp, so I've got a full pot of hemp, half hemp, half chopped worms. Pop that in my uh, tray there. Then I get myself a full pot of casters. So you can see there's more casters than there is. Just gonna drain a bit of the excess water off more casters than there is chopped worm and hemp okay i'll pop that in there now what i'm going to do to that is just add enough ground bait to hold those particles together i don't need loads of ground bait i'm not looking for big ground bait rich balls i basically want to feed all these particles the hemp and the worms and the casters so what i'm going to do is take two pints of my ground bait mix that you saw me mix earlier with some soil put that into the 
hemp and casters, really work that round. So I've got a little bit of chopped worm, a little bit of hemp and plenty of casters in the mix. So when I form a ball, a little ball to feed, look, absolutely stuffed with casters, little bits of worms, stuff like that. So as it hits the water, it's a heavy mix. It's gonna go in straight down to the bottom, taking all those casters and bits of worms with it. So the fish will come down to the bottom to feed. There's a lot of fish feeding in the canal at the moment. So I don't wanna go and like throw a few casters in. It'll just bring the fish up and they'll soon disappear. So a nice sticky mix with all those hemp and casters and everything else in is a great way to feed. Okay, I've got two types of rigs for today's session. The first rig is a PB Silver 4 and a 2 gram. Now, a 2 gram flow is because I've got 12 foot of water here. Like I said, in smaller narrow canals where people talk about like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a gram, there's no place for this in this canal. It's towing, it's moving, it's back and forth all the time. There's a lot of fish there. 2 grams going to be my bagging rig. That's what I hope to catch a lot of fish on. Got a nice 012 main line. I've got a six elastic at the top and I've got a, a bulk and a couple of droppers down at the bottom end. I'll just whiz that up so you can have a quick look. There we go. Shot down, look, a nice bulk and then two droppers and I've got a 16 PR333 hook on 09 reflow power line. Real bagging rig. If I'm catching on this rig, we're on for a proper weight. I can fish baits like double caster, single caster, bit of worm, anything like that. My more standard rig is the same float, but this time in a gram. Same shot in gram, two droppers, and then uh, 08, that is to an 18 PR333. Just everything a little bit lighter, a little bit nicer, a five elastic. It might be that these fish, even though there's a lot here, they don't quite want the bigger hooks and line, and a smaller hook might just mean I can catch more consistently, which is the key to catching a big weight. So they're my two rigs for today. Um, what I'm going to do is I've covered the feeding earlier, but I'm going to take my pot now and I'm going to feed five balls. But what is worth noting is where I've actually decided to fish. A lot of these big canals, they don't have the same sloping shelf and then a nice bottom bit. They're as deep at your feet as they are as you go further out. And what I've found today is it's almost an identical depth right off here as it is at about six meters out. When I went further, it was the same depth. I don't see the need because it's 12 foot deep, I don't see the need to go really far out. The fish are gonna be close in. This is where all the feature is. This is where all the movement is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish that distance. I'm gonna feed six balls, five or six balls at the start, that sort of size at six meters, get them in, get the fish down to the bottom, start fishing and start to think about the feeding. Let's have a go. Right, I've, uh, I've been fishing for about an hour now, and the fishing is brilliant, really is good. Lots of roach, nice roach like that one there, and uh, hybrids and skimmers. So it's been a great start to the session, actually. One thing that is noticeable, when I started the session, I cupped in my main balls, and what I felt was that I wasn't sure if it was gonna be brilliant or not, so I just started off loose feeding, say, 10 or 15 casters by hand all the time, uh, and a bit of hemp, because I thought I wanna try and draw some fish in. I very, very quickly realised that was the wrong way to go. The mix that I showed you at the start, which was full of bait, small balls like that, every time I hook a fish, I like to feed a small ball, and that has totally and utterly changed the way I've, I've been catching. I was getting liners, foul lookers. It just wasn't working with the uh, missed bites with the loose feed. So I started chucking a ball, and what I realised was the best time to feed a ball was as soon as I hooked a fish to throw a ball of bait in, and then land my fish in. The reason that was so effective was because as that ball goes to the bottom, the fish go and settle. I was unhooking a fish, popping it in my net, putting my bait on, shipping back out, and catching another fish quickly because the fish were back down on the deck. 
And what I've already realised is that maggots and pinkies, they catch me plenty of fish, but they're not brilliant for catching the better fish. Single caster at the moment has been the best bait and on the lighter rig. So I'm going to go out, try and catch a few more fish on this lighter rig. I'm going to try that heavy rig in a bit. That could be really dangerous, so we'll see how we get on. Right, I've made a, an interesting change here. I've gone onto the, uh, the slightly heavier rig with a six elastic and the two grand. And uh, it's been good. I've certainly caught a lot of fish on it, a bit bigger than those. Uh, but I must say that um, I don't feel that this rig has been quite as consistent as that smaller grand rig. I've missed quite a few bites. And I think a lot of those smaller fish or those slightly smaller fish are struggling to get the bigger hook and pull the bigger float under. It doesn't seem to be working quite as well. So I'm going to put this back down and I'm going to change back to that gram rig because I've definitely found that that's caught me some nice skimmers today as if they're just watching that bait fall that last little bit and it is making the difference to catching that slightly better stamp of fish. So pick that gram rig up now, go back out, hopefully catch a few more. Well, I'm going to have a look at my final catch. I've fished five hours today. I've had a really good day as you're about to find out and uh, I'm just going to remind you that I'm not on a commercial here I am on the Air and Calder Canal so let's have a little look well, I don't know about you there's over 60 pounds of silverfish there from a canal I, I can't believe it I didn't think I had 60 pounds but you can feel I can barely can barely lift that up. So, uh, wow, well, well, I just, <laughs> sorry, I can't believe that. That's an unbelievable day fishing by anybody's standards. Mm -hmm. 